New developments in the case of a Harris County sergeant who ended up in the hospital after she touched a flyer laced with fentanyl. Similar flyers are now being tested for the drug. We've been following this story for the past 24 hours now. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is live downtown with an update on how the sergeant is doing. Roseanne? That's right. Harris County deputies said that that flyer was laced with fentanyl. They knew that through a field test. Well, we're learning today that those tests aren't always accurate, so to be sure, they're sending those flyers to forensic specialists. While one forensics lab is busy with the case, we went to another to learn more about how that process works. A Harris County Sheriff Sergeant is now home after touching a flyer which deputies say was laced with fentanyl. Today, that flyer and about a dozen others found on the windshield of cars lined up outside the department's Lockwood facility are being tested. We wanted to learn how. A lot of our testing happens in the morning. While the flyers in question are actually being tested at the Harris County Institute of Forensic Science, here at the Houston Forensic Science Center, manager Mark Miller takes us through the general process for testing drugs like fentanyl. Even though you look at it, and even though it may have been submitted as a suspected substance, we don't know what it really is until our testing is complete. Here there are precautions because of synthetic opioids like carfentanil, 10,000 times more potent than morphine, used as elephant tranquilizers, and even fentanyl, 50 times more potent than morphine. Well, fentanyl's toxic dose is about two milligrams, so it's quite a bit more than carfentanil, but that's still a very small amount and something that you could potentially inhale or you know, basically ingest through touching your face. Testing drugs requires a process of elimination. He says this is likely cocaine. She's taken a sample and she's going to add a chemical to it and look for a change in color. The analyst adds the solution. Now in this case you see that the pink solution turned blue. That indicates that it is positive for cocaine. But it could potentially be other drugs, so they put a sample in this machine that sorts out the samples and determines exactly what the drug is. In this situation, though, investigators say they are still waiting to see what drug was on these flyers. And I heard from representatives of the group called Targeted Justice, the name of the group that was printed on those flyers. They tell me they would never lace any of the flyers with drugs, and they're happy that Sergeant is doing okay. Reporting live downtown, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.